All right, John just got done welding in the floor pan, section of firewall, and the torque box, part of the torque box. And now he's dressed his weld down. He's going around hammer and dolly in it, make it all nice and flush, and then uh, make it nice and smooth. So it looks like an uninterrupted floor pan. A lot of work to do it this way. A lot of people just kind of overlap the area or, or replace it. This one here is a little bit of body work done on it. And we try to keep as much of the original as possible if it's in good shape. How's it working, John? Very good. Getting after it, aren't you? Yeah. Let's see the inside torque box. Place. Here you can see the here you can see the firewall section. It's a Dynacorn part with a Dynacorn floor pan. John's got it up tight up against the frame rail. These frame rails were pretty good shape. Torque box was rusty up underneath here. It looked good, but we had to replace both uh, this outer panel, the frame rail, and this inner structure right here from the front frame rail because there's pockets of rust in there. All right, John's gonna flip it over real quick, undo your ground, and we'll take a look at. In our torque box. Just that easy. And here you can see what he's got going on on the inside. The section of the firewall, the floor pan. Yeah, we can't see the torque box because it's underneath. But this is basically the same on this side. The factory torque box outer shell was pretty good, but the inner was pretty rotted from the inside out. Go ahead and roll it about halfway over. See the roller hoop allows John just to flick it and go. Uh, go the other way so I can see the floor pan. Okay, about right there. Alright, see the other side. This side down here. Same thing here. Had some pockets of rust up in here. I replaced, actually made our own section of torque box right there. And there again, we opted to keep as much original as possible just because we're restoring the car, not rebuilding it. There is a little bit of a difference. Restoration means keep as much as you possibly can of the original car. Rebuilding, of course, is just, you know, cut the whole floor pan out, put a one-piece floor pan in it. A lot easier, but there again, it's not the same floor pan the lady bought in 1968, where this is as much of the original cars as she originally bought. So, kind of a goofy way of looking at it, but that's the way we do it here at Autocraft. And the same on this 68 and a half R code Mustang, which was in much worse shape than that car there. The bottom of that's, that car is almost ready for paint right now.